We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to re reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains? and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, 
and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the bridge to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the tes testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you, don't, you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise for one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, 
in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Among the many sins of the people of Israel during the time of Moses was that, and perhaps this is the most, this is the number one, was their forgetfulness. Madaling makalimot. And from that forgetfulness comes so many other sins that they committed. When they forget that the Lord was the one who brought them out of Egypt, out of their slavery, when they forget that it was the Lord who guided them during their travel and journey in the desert with columns of clouds and, and fire during the day and the night, when they forget that it was the God who gave them manna during their journey and quails, pugo, when they forget all those things, they will worship the molten calf. That is what we heard in the first reading. And that is why the Lord was very angry at His people. Gusto niyang, gusto niyang burahin sa mukha ng mundo, ng daigdig, ang kanyang bayan. Sapagkat pinili nilang sambahin ang ginintoang baka kapalit ng pagsamba sa tunay na Diyos. It happened because they were forgetful. They forgot the many things, the many wonders the Lord worked for them. It needed Moses to intervene kasi talagang disidido na ang Diyos napuksain ang kanyang bayan at ang sabi ni Moses, Wag, Lord. Wag, Panginoon. How many times have we forgotten the goodness of God in our lives? You know, that is one of the reasons why we have anniversaries. Yun nga mga teenager ngayon eh, buwan lang eh, sineselebrate na eh. Meron silang month sari, no? Isang buwan matapos na sila ay maging magkasintahan. But some people forget to celebrate their anniversaries. Wedding, for example. Eh, kumisan nga yung mga mister, nakalimutan pa kung kailan sila kinasal eh, no? It is important that we celebrate anniversaries Wedding anniversary, ordination anniversary, dedication anniversary of the cathedral. Why do we celebrate those? Because we would like to remind ourselves of a milestone in our lives. Why do you have wedding rings? Why do bishops have rings? To symbolize their commitment to one another your commitment to each other. Are you still wearing your wedding rings? Ay, Father, nawala na eh. No? Hindi ko na napalitan. We need anniversaries. We need symbols. And even the Lord, no, even the Lord, in the Mass, what, did, what does He say? During the consecration, the priest is saying the words of the Lord, do this, do this in memory of me. 
Every time that we celebrate the Eucharist, we remember the Last Supper. We remember the Passion. We remember the death. We remember the rising of Christ. Every time that we celebrate the Eucharist, we do an act of remembrance. Why? Because we are forgetful. Ang dali nating makalimot. Ang dali nating makalimutan ang mga dakilang gawa ng Diyos. Kaya nga po, siguro, paminsan-minsan, no? no? Pag wala na kayo masyadong ginagawa, sa gabi, bago kayo matulog, balikan ninyo ang inyong maghapon. Ano yung mga pagkakataon na naramdaman ninyo ang presensya ng Diyos? Ano yung mga pagkakataon na tinugon ng Diyos ang inyong panalangin? At magpasalamat kayo. Let us remember the many good things that the Lord has done and be grateful. Kasi nga, ang paalaala ay gamot sa taong nakalilimot. Huwag nating kalimutan ang mga magagandang bagay na ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Amen. Please stand. Too often, we stray from the Lord's ways. Let us ask Him for the strength to live lives of faith. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians everywhere may be more fervent in prayer during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unbelievers may listen to God's word and be brought to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That present uncertainties in the church may be resolved by an increase of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may see God's presence in their lives by the support of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may reach their eternal home with the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Father, enlighten us through the Holy Spirit that we may openly profess our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, 
that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and always remember God is good. Thanks be to God. Amen.